this is the greatest roughing end mill on the planet. Core stands for king of roughing. And the five, it stands for five flutes. Five flutes and the deeper axial cut produces more points of contact in the material, which also adds to the rigidity of the tool and gives you crazy surface finishes. And then you add the through coolant hole that goes right through the core the chip breakers across the flutes that break all the chips into small little pieces and the safe lock grooves that locks the tool in place so it cannot pull out. Boom, this thing is crazy. Now you guys know me, we run some crazy aerospace parts. We've tested tools from all the top companies. And I'm telling you, I have never ran a tool like this. Time is money and this tool will make you money. When it comes to machining and roughing off a lot of material, it's all about your MRR, your metal removal rate. And this tool, the Core 5, was designed specifically for high efficiency milling in aluminum. And not just that, but it was designed to take your MRR to a whole nother planet. Now let's talk about high efficiency milling. We're taking the core five, we're dropping all the way down in Z using the entire flue, which adds rigidity. We're taking a smaller radial cut of 10 to 20%. Now, when you calculate the MRR, it is greater than the old school techniques because of the amount of material that you're removing because you have five flutes, which allows you to cut faster. The results that you see are phenomenal. We tested a 3 8 cutter three times D and we got over 100 cubes of material removed. That is unheard of. The truth of the matter is that after running this tool and getting after it, the only limits that I've found is the machine. Whether it's a 1.5 HP Tormac, a 15 horsepower mini mill, or a DMU 5 axis third gen 40 horsepower beast of a machine. If you understand the strategies behind high efficiency milling, this tool will perform. Now let's talk about surface foot and chip load and where to run this tool. This is aluminum, this is a beast. So look at your machine, look at your horsepower, look at your RPMs and do a gut check. Where are you willing to run that machine? If you got 10,000 RPMs, are you gonna run 10,000 or are you gonna run 9,000? Or are you gonna be like 7,000, let's baby it. Figure out where you're comfortable running this tool as fast as possible. Also taking into account where your torque curve is for your horsepower, because every machine is different. Some have torque on the high end, some have torque on the low end. So figure out your spindle speed, figure out where your torque is, Go ahead and run this tool, drop full depth. Just start at 10% radial, you can adjust it later. Make sure all your variables are in check. You got the tool holding, you got the work holding, you got the perfect recipe for success. And then start running the tool. Run 100 inches a minute, 200 inches a minute. Look at your spindle load. And as you go 300, 500, 800, 1000, depending on what your machine can handle, keep your eye on the spindle load. Go up 70%, 80%, what are you comfortable with, right? It's a gut check, what's comfortable, what's safe in your world? Figure it out, 
those RPMs, that's at 80%, document it so you know exactly what's possible, and then play with different cut patterns, play with different depths of cuts, and push the limits, and then document everything. As a top aerospace job shop, somebody who's been in the game for a long time, I'm all about standards. I'm about finding the right tool that can perform in many different applications and making that a standard. So I'm not buying a million tools. When it comes to roughing aluminum, that's my standard, that's my go-to, that's my documentation, make it happen day in and day out. And from this moment, no matter what machine it is, if we're roughing aluminum, the Core 5 is my standard. And nobody using a different tool will be able to compete with us. This is about making money, it's about putting food on the table, it's about taking care of your customers. Ah, Core 5, I'm out, boom!